It's time for Gypsy Queen in our box break where everybody has picked a number and a pack number. And we're going to be counting up. Each pack that you've picked is your, your pack. Here's how it works. You own the pack. The pack is yours. You might buy more than one pack. There are 24 packs in the box. Uh, the owner of the pack with the most Red Sox and Yankees in it will win the third base. Dual players count as a Red Sox or Yankees card. If one dual player is a Red Sox or one is a Yankee, we'll see if we run into that. I don't know if we will. Um, Here we go. Let's get to it. So as long as everybody's clear with the rules, then we have a tiebreaker here. We're going to be tallying up this thing. Everybody's got their pack number. And what I've done, we, we've shuffled the box. Of, we've shuffled the packs up. We've numbered the packs. They're in no particular order other than I've put them in a numerical order to make it easy for me to run through these. But other than that, they, they weren't in any particular order when I numbered them. So, like, this is number one right here. So let's get to this thing. Let's get this thing started and start tallying up our Red Sox and Yankees. And see who gets the most in this Pack Wars type of rip. Good luck. It's Pack Wars. Ho! In the very right column is going to be the number of Red Sox and Yankees. This is T Mike's pack number one. Selected number one. And we'll just start from one and work our way down. Good luck, everyone. And good luck to you, T Mike. Hitting an auto or a Red Sox or Yankees player. And in this pack, we did not see a single one. Red Sox or Yankees. Pack number two for Troy. Zero, Troy B.
Now it's up to Sean Cass in pack number three. Zero. I'm very surprised we haven't had any Red Sox or Yankees through three packs. Can you believe that? Wow. T Mike, you're up. Pack number four. Zero. Oh, my gosh. Kevin, here we go, Kev. Pack number five it is. And still no Red Sox or Yankees. Surprise, surprise. Kevin. Wow, what a surprise. There we go, Mr. Foley. It's up to you, Mr. Foley. Pack six. Oh, very nice autograph of Whit Merrifield. Very nice. Royals. Gypsy Queen Baseball, numbered to 50. Auto. But no Red Sox or Yankees in the pack.
Pack number seven. So far, not a single Red Sox or Yankees card has come out of Gypsy Queen. Nice Detroit Lugo, but no Red Sox or Yankees in this pack. Here we go on to Sean Cass. Pack number eight. Nice one right here. Number to two fifty. But no Yankees or Red Sox. Coming up, we have Gary. Good luck, Gary. And Gypsy Queen Baseball. You have pack number nine. No Red Sox in Gary's pack. My goodness, Gary, I can't believe it. Well, it's up to you, Troy. In pack number 10. This is quite a thing, isn't it? Quite a thing.
Scoob is up in pack number 11. Look, Scoob. Oh, my. Still zero. I thought for sure, Scoob, you'd have one of there. Back up for a shot in pack 12. Zero. All right, Mr. Foley. Foley, you've got great odds here coming up. Looking over at some of the remaining things and everything, your odds are on the up side here. Everyone's odds that's left has to be on the upside. There's a no nameplate. Albies, right? Is that Albies? No, that's another Braves player. But zero. Foley. In this pack, 13. A 20 way tie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 20 way tie. <laughs> wow. You know, that could happen. I mean, really, it could. Who knows, man? That could really happen. And then it would go to the tiebreaker. I have to go through all the packs and count the Orioles. <laughs> that would be a mess. Nice Hoskins. A Red Sox. Mr. Foley in pack 14. It's the first Red Sox or Yankees card out of the break. Surprise, surprise. Foley scores and is now in the lead for the third base. With the David Price. That is pack 14. 
<laughs> and that will see 15 here. And if we can, if he, if he can top his own personal record. And it's not going to be pack 15 that tops anything. That pack ain't, ain't pulling on much. Let's see about pack 16 fully. Good luck, everyone. 16 is zero. Sean Kaz, you're up in pack 17. Good luck. There's a the Red Sox. And the Yankees. Oh, bye. A new leader has emerged. Oh, bye. It is Sean Cass with two. And now we move on to pack 18. And there's another Whit Merrifield rookie auto. So, Mr. Kaz, coming away very nicely. With that hit. A Whit Merrifield order for you, sir. Nice. Well, it's getting toward the end of this thing here, and we are we just had that pack with the Merrifield auto. And now it's up to Anthony to try and top. The number to beat is two. 
and it was from Sean Kaz's pack 17. And that pack is right here with the Serviano and the Porcello. And so here we go into pack 19. And uh, let's see what happens. Good luck, Anthony. Oh, Anthony starts off strong. Ben Attendee. Anthony. Could it be a big tie? Oh, my gosh. One for Anthony. One, Anthony. Troy B, it is up to you in number 20. Good luck, Troy. There's the Yankees. There's the Yankees. You've got a little stack left. Whoa, oh, bye. Oh my, one for Troy there. Oh my gosh. Sean Kaz is holding on strong from that pack 17. Hold on strong, Sean. Pack 21. Four packs remain. This is Troy. This is your last chance. Good luck to you, Troy. What's it going to be? Oh, what a way to start off. Devers. Oh, my. You got one to start this thing off. Astros. Mariners. Ho. Ho. We have a tie, and look at that, a tie breaker. Oh, my. Wow. Troy has come up in pack 21 and taken the lead. Surprise, surprise. What a thrilling pack war what a thrilling pack war congratulations Troy with three well you gotta feel good about that three it's gonna be hard to beat with the remaining three packs but anything can happen. You know it as well as I do. Anything can happen. Sean, you held on strong, man. You had a good run at it. That's for sure. Sean Kaz had a good run at, at that base. And let's see what happens. Here we go. 22. Let's see. That was three.
Good luck, Mr. Foley. Mr. Foley held the lead for a while with packs uh, with with uh, one, and is looking to come back and take the torch. Good luck, Mr. Foley. And one Yankees in this one. Right now, our leader is this pack. Right now, that is our leader. Pack 21. And we'll see if you can beat three, Mr. Foley. You need three or more in pack 23. Three or more. Good luck. And that one did not make it. Anthony, it's up to you. Troy B is trying to take this thing home. He's trying to take, he's trying to steal third. <laughs> he's trying to steal third, Troy. Or Anthony, excuse me. Troy's trying to steal third. Good luck. What's it going to be coming out of this final pack? Pack 24 for Anthony. A Yankee Lou Gehrig short print. Whoa, it's not over till the fat lady sings. Isn't that what a famous Yankee used to say? Uh, I believe that was Joe DiMaggio's quote, not Gehrig's. But uh, let's go ahead and see. It ain't over till it's over. Maybe that was the quote. Yeah, that was the quote. It had nothing to do with the fat lady. I apologize. But it is over. Oh, bye. It is over. So that is uh, quite a run there. That was a lot of fun. Congratulations to Troy, who scored. Anthony gave it a good shot there with the Lou Gehrig short print. And, uh, man, it was a lot of fun to see who was going to get this third base. And it ended up being Troy B., who scoops that hit up? So after all was said and done, it was Troy in pack 21 with three Red Sox and Yankees. <laughs> oh my. That's right, you have stolen third base. So, you know, this will be a neat game to watch. I think if you own this base, you might want to try and catch this game on video and really see, you know, the historic significance. It was August. It was 2014. It was, you know, what kind of game was this? Uh, is, was third base a really significant part of that game? Or, you know, what, what's, what's uh, more history behind it? Did anybody hit a triple? Look at how much dirt is on it. It looks like somebody might have slid into it. So <laughs> there might have been a big play at third that game. Who knows? But it's a really neat piece no matter what. Even if it's just a, a base and there was no 
nothing uh, significant other than it just being a base in the game. It's still really awesome. And you can see how they how they tape it up in the bottom. Uh, so just a really neat hit for Troy. And a big congratulations. Thanks for playing with us, everybody. Uh, it was exciting. And it was fun. And uh, everybody had just a great shot at hitting that base. And that's what it's all about. Just fun and good times. So thanks for playing, everybody. And uh, we look forward to more great stuff like this around here. All the time at Friendly Box Breaks.